Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is episode four of my Car Critters Stamp Set of the Month series. So every week I've been bringing you new ideas with this cute stamp set from Lawn Fawn. And today I am going to be making a Lift the Flap Slimline Shaker Card with a gift card holder. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Here are the images that I have stamped using the Car Critters stamp set. The three cards across the top are for today's card. These are images from the Village Shops stamp set that I am using for today's card as well. I've stamped them with jet black ink onto some white cardstock for Copic coloring. So I'm gonna show you how to color this red car here. I'm starting with my darkest color. Now the cards across the bottom here are for next week's card. I was hoping they would make today's video and I would have two cards for you, but today's card's pretty involved. <laughs> so now I am blending that out with my medium shade. You can see that I have concentrated the darkest color at the bottom parts of each of the sections and the cards that I've colored in the other videos for this series I've done the opposite and I found I like coloring the cards this way the best so I wanted to share it with you and now I'm blending out those colors with my lightest R17 to make this red car and then I will show you how I am coloring out all the other parts of the car as well so I like to add a little B00 to the windshield just just to make it look like they're actually inside the car behind glass. I also use that for my headlights. I have C8 and C6 for my tires. C6 will be the darkest shade for my bumper and my side mirrors. Then my medium shade is C4, and then I'll use some C2 to blend that out. I love cool grays for anything metal. And then C2 will be the lightest color on my kind of grill for the front of this card. I decided not to use license plates on these three and then a C0 to blend that out. I wanted all my bears to be different colors. So this is a polar bear that I used W2 and W0. You can see I have brown, black, and white bears. They all look so cute together. Here are the images from the Village Shops that I colored and the Copic markers that I used. I'll die cut all of those out and you can see I have some clouds and trees. Those are from the Happy Village stamp set. Next, I die cut the Lift the Flap from the small slimline die set from Lawn Fawn, and I'm going to add some ink to that using Distress Ink in Salty Ocean and a makeup style blending brush. What I'm trying to do here is have the ink be more concentrated and darker on the right hand side and then fade so it gets lighter on the right hand side, which seems kind of odd actually, but you'll see why as we get going. I sprayed that with water, let that set for a second while I tried to find a paper towel, but somebody wandered off with them. My kids always know where to find stuff in my stamp room because I put it back where it goes. It's a hard concept to teach people. Now I'm splattering it with some ink from the same ink, Distress Ink from, oh my word, what is it called? Salty Ocean. I'm so distracted by those paper towels. Still, I'm going to let it go in a minute though. I am. Okay, I'm using the same lift the flap dies and cutting out another panel in some gray cardstock using black soot over the top of that. I felt like if I started with gray cardstock, put the black soot over it, I don't have to do as much ink blending because I've got the gray base. And I am using the car there to make sure I'm getting the ink up high enough. I don't need to ink the entire panel because I'm gonna bring in a stitched hillside border to cut this down after I do some more splattering on it. I just picked out the um, wave that I liked the best, the hill I liked the best, tape that in place and die cut it. So now I have bits and pieces of this lift the flap that I need to paper piece on top of my blue inked panel. And this is going to create the scene for me. So I've got my sky and my road there. And I love when I paper piece these and it's kind of like doing a puzzle and the, the line of that hill lines up with those little pieces. I, these are the things that make me happy. Yeah, so I get those all glued into place and that will complete that panel. It is now ready to add the cars, but I'm going to do some work on the background um, that this will sit on because I want the hill 
um, on the front panel to kind of line up with the hill on the background. So I'm just gonna lay that down and um, use my top panel to figure out the placement. So we have that ready to go and now we can start adhering our little cars. In the first car, um, the little brown bear is surprised because he's going out for his birthday. In the second car, he's very excited learning all the fun things they're gonna do. And in the third car, he has um, some packages that they have purchased while out shopping. So it says, it's your birthday, let's go out. So that's the theme of this card. So we're gonna have little scenes of where they're going under each of these flaps. Also, under those flaps will be a shaker. So I've lined this with some double stick tape and a window sheet, which is the start of a shaker card. Before we turn it into a shaker card, I'm laying this on top of my second background and adhering my little village pieces. So now you can see the first stop they're making on their birthday is to go out for coffee or breakfast, then some shopping, and then they finish out the end of the day with some ice cream. So that's why the scene is lighter at one end with the blue and darker at the other end, because I wanted to make it look like it was, the day was progressing from morning to evening. Now we are gonna make our own shaker elements. This is that gel silica that says, throw it away, don't eat it. But I am gonna tell you to keep it. Don't throw it away. We're gonna cut one of these open, put it in a little container. You could do this in a little dish um, or like a container that used to have embossing powder in it or sequins, something like that, you could use that. And then we're gonna take a drop of reinker. Now you could use any reinker, a dye-based pigment. This is a hybrid from Fun Stamper's Journey, so it has dye and pigment in it. One drop, and then I'm shaking it up and you can see that it's dyeing those little beads. And it dyes them very easily because those are made to absorb liquid, right? So cool, so now let's do some pink ones. And again, only putting in one drop of the color. Put the lid on, shake it up for just a minute. It disperses and absorbs really well. And then we have our shaker elements. Now, there's gonna be some miscolored ones in there. You can toss those out, it'll be fine. And this stuff keeps forever. I made these months and months ago, kept them in these little baggies, and they stay as good as the day you made them. All right, so now I've lined my two end squares with some foam tape, and I'm putting in my brown shaker bits behind the coffee shop. I will remove that um, backing paper. I actually already removed it and then poured them in because these bounce a lot, and I felt like if I pull off that lining of the tape, it would make them bounce a little bit. See how bouncy they are? And then I put uh, just a square of window sheet on the back this time, and it was two and three fourths by two and three fourths. I did the same thing for the pink. These dry really fast within a matter of um, a minute. You're ready to use. All right, with some more um, double stick tape on the back of that, I'm adhering it down to that second panel. And then the middle square is open so that I can put a gift card in that section. Okay, so now we have our slimline card that is nine inches by eight eight inches scored at four inches. I put a striped piece of patterned paper on the back and then that um, interactive panel on the top. Next, I'm gonna add the sun and the cloud in the top left corner and then two little clouds on the right hand side. There goes my gift card. Now the gift card sticks up a little bit higher than my card, which I did not want. I put foam tape at the bottom of that panel and I think it was just a little bit too thick. I needed really thin foam tape, so this would scoop down a little bit more. I ended up just working with it, like pressing down on the foam tape, pressing down on the foam tape, and eventually, it did not stick up any higher than my card. So just remember, if you're doing this type of card with a pocket for a gift card, make sure you have very thin foam tape right there. You could also make the same exact card without using um, or making a shaker, and then you would just have like a sleeve that the gift card could slide in and out of. But see there, it just sticks up a little bit in my envelope, so I'm working with it, and then it was able to stay down where I needed it. So that is today's card, but I did not forget the inside. I have a little bear 
holding an ice cream and a little shopping bag on the inside. Just a tiny little scene on this giant card, which I think is super duper fun. And that is today's card, the Slimline Lift the Flap Shaker gift card holder. So much fun to make. I had a blast with this card and I will be back again next week with a card that moves. This was supposed to be the mover and shaker video, but like I said, this card took up all my time and it's been a busy summer. So I thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again very soon with more creative projects. Happy stamping. Bye.